Many of us use Git on a daily basis, but how many of us know what goes on under the hood? For example, what happens when we use git commit? What is stored between commits? Is it just a diff between the current and previous commit? If so, how is the diff encoded? Or is an entire snapshot of the repo stored each time? What really happens when we use git init? Many people who use git don't know the answers to these questions. But why does it really matter? First, as professionals, we should strive to understand the tools we use, especially if we use them all the time, like Git. But even more acutely, I find that understanding how Git actually works is useful in many scenarios, whether it's merge conflicts, looking to conduct an interesting rebase, or even just when something goes slightly wrong. Also, it's really cool to understand how Git works. You'll benefit from this series if you're experienced enough with Git to feel comfortable with commands such as git pull, git push, git add, or git commit. And if you'd like to deepen your knowledge of how it works behind the scenes. If you happen to be new to Git, then I'd recommend going through some basic tutorials and getting some hands-on experience before watching this series. How will this series work? We'll get a rare understanding of what goes on under the hood of what we do almost daily. We'll start by covering objects, blobs, trees, and commits. We'll then briefly discuss branches and how they are implemented. We'll dive into the working directory, staging area, and repository. We'll make sure we understand how these terms relate to git commands we know and use to create a new repository. We'll then create a repository from scratch without using git init, git add, or git commit. This will allow us to deepen our understanding of what is happening under the hood when we work with Git. We'll also create new branches, switch branches, and create additional commits, all without using git branch or git checkout. We'll have lots of hands-on demonstrations. In other words, we'll actually use Git all the time. We'll put everyone on the same page by covering the basics first. But again, this series is not for beginners. We'll start slow, yet we'll go very deep and make sure we understand every detail. We'll repeat terms over and over again to make sure we feel comfortable with them. After watching these videos, you will feel like you understand Git. Are you up for it? Hit the subscribe button and join us for the next videos. It will be awesome! By the way, I've also posted two blog posts about Git internals that cover the same topics. I'll provide links to them in the description below. Feel free to read along.